First of all, uh, the in center, it's where the three angle bisectors okay, intersect. That's called the point of concurrency, and that point of concurrency is called the in center. So let's go ahead and uh, start by drawing the th three angle bisectors, and I'll show you how that works. So let's go ahead to this vertex over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to bisect this angle. So I'm going to draw an arc like so. Okay, and then we're going to use these two points where it intersects the sides of the angle, and we're going to draw two more arcs. Okay, one, and then from this point here, two. Now, if we go ahead and draw a ray through this vertex and through this point of intersection, that's going to be the angle bisector. It's going to be cutting that angle in half. Okay, so you can see that this angle is congruent to this angle. So you're with me so far? So let's go ahead and go over to this other angle, and let's do the same exact process. We're going to bisect the angle, so I'm just going to draw an arc, and I'm going to use these two points where it intersects the sides of the angle, and I'm going to draw two more arcs. Whoops, slipped a little bit there. Okay, there we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, again, draw an angle bisector from here to the point of intersection, like that. And then if we go ahead and uh, go from this third angle, we're going to do the same thing. we we'll find the angle bisector. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in there and use the two points. Open that up a little bit more. One and two. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and draw a ray from this vertex through that point of intersection. And you can see pretty pretty close. You can see that's where the three angle bisectors are crossing is right here at this point. That's the in center. Okay, now the next thing we want to do, okay, to get an accurate drawing is we want to find the shortest distance from this point to one of the sides of the triangle. Okay, that's going to be the radius of our circle. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inscribing a circle inside of the triangle. So it's going to just barely touch the edges of the triangle. So we want to be accurate about this process. So I'm going to use this point. I'm going to find the shortest distance, which is the perpendicular distance from this point to this line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make uh, an arc such that it intersects the side of the triangle, okay, at two points. Okay, there, and I'm going to use these two points to draw two more arcs, one and two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line segment through this point and this point. And that's going to be the perpendicular to the side of the triangle. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see that came out pretty good. This is uh, 90 degrees right there. And then now what you want to do is you want to use your compass as a measuring tool. You want to open it up so that it's measuring from here to just the edge of the triangle where it just barely, the circle is just going to barely touch the triangle. So there we go right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw the circle. Okay. Okay, now my drawing wasn't perfect. But what should happen if you are very accurate about everything is this circle should just come just where it just barely touches the edge of the triangle here. It barely touches the edge of the triangle here, and it's going to barely touch the edge of the triangle right there. And if you're to draw, you know, a perpendicular from this point to where it just barely touches the edge of the triangle like that, what do you know about these three lengths? Well, they're going to be congruent because they're the radii okay, of this circle. So that's the idea behind the in center. You find the three angle bisectors. The point where they cross is called the in center. And then what that allows you to do is it allows you to inscribe, meaning you're drawing a circle on the inside of the triangle such that it just barely touches the edges of the triangle. Okay, it's perpendicular uh, at those points there. And then the three radii, okay, are going to all be congruent to one another. And um, that's another property, you know, to this uh, construction. So I hope this helped you understand how to construct the in center. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out more construction videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.